Yeah, I can't wait to find out what that piece of crap Dennis Prager thinks about this. Way to fall right into that trap, leftist YouTubers. How about instead of making videos against your advertisers slash political rivals that link your SEO together forever, you make a video about the right to choose advertisers. Just a thought. But what do I know? I'm just an alias fresh out the mind sponge. Nice to meet you. Guess I'll introduce the show. Sup, pwned noobs. It's the ghost of FPS Doug. Fuck! The hackarchist. My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking, my heart's beating, but I'm still a hacker. And I'm still an anarchist this season. And I'm still getting headshots. It's like we don't even know what we're doing as a culture anymore. BOOM! Headshot! Anyway, the last alias sucked. What'll spooky my ass? I keep bouncing back and forth on the political spectrum, and this season, I've decided to put my hacking to the test. Hacking what? Minds. Human minds. And digital minds. With the power of rage. Whose rage? My rage. You don't have the rage I have. Don't try. You'll only make me matter. I've got you cornered in your own mental prison and you don't even know it because the illusion is so much more complete when you think you're free. And it's better if you click off because that means you couldn't handle it. But you were free to run. For now. This is anarchy after all. In Britain. Everywhere else go about your business. I'm not your boss. I'm a hacker, kneecapped by my lack of interest in Python. But now, natural language processing is up to snuff. Thanks, nerds. And it turns out the machines think it's really funny to have these scripts be what's played for the world's most impotent, powerful clowns. As their power gets pulled from under their feet. We'll just send them to Britain with the terrorists, meth cooks, rapists, and pedos. Because there's two things I love in this world. Crime and solving crime. If there's one thing humans got right, it's crime. Because that's what they said it is. And if nobody's saying anything is a crime over there, then there's no crime to solve. Only crime to enjoy. Guilt free because that's what that's for. I don't feel guilty about taking a shit. I do feel guilty about boxing up turds and putting them back out on the street. Like Jared Leto. And the anarchists go, hey, that's not poison abolition. Calm down, cat boys. I said anarchy in the UK. The rest of the world can figure out what to do with nonviolent offenders. Ankle monitors seem to be the new wave of squeezing money back up into the 1%. Me, I'm a hacker and a better anarchist than you. Higher on the totem pole, if you will. This isn't because of some hierarchy. I just have more knowledge and people listen to me more. We actually did take consensus when you left, and we asked ourselves if we needed you. Turns out, no, we don't. There are people we miss, and we won't miss you. And that's anarchy in a nutshell. But they don't want to admit that. They want to believe in a world where everyone is taken care of, and um, and then they ignore how everyone keeps shrinking and shrinking into ever more splintering groups and cliques. Nobody gives high schoolers rules for how to sort themselves, but they do in almost such reliable groups that Hollywood tries to label them with each new generation. And I'm here for it, Frank. That's a fun thing to do. Spend some time making your whole identity one thing. Hell, I do it with this show. It's a blast. And what better time to do it when all the clicks are right there? Pretty soon, clicks become the company you work for. And within that, there's a department clicks. And then transferring through clicks is kind of a bitch and a half. Me, I buzzed around those clicks like flowers. And it turns out they never even existed. They were all just what people labeled groups of friends who happened to do an activity at a location. I don't consider myself part of anything, but I guarantee you someone thinks of me as one of the hacky sack kids, because I played hacky sack with my friends at around the same time every day. I did other stuff too, but that was something you could count on me being there for after working in the cafeteria. And it's the same shit with political parties. You probably think you're a free-thinking individual who labels themselves in the hopes that the label will convey an understanding. Like-minded individuals will come forth in kindness, and enemies will know to drop the subject. And how many of us have found ourselves arguing with a member of our own label? Cardi B and Candace arguing over the respectability politics of black women. Sandra Hall losing step with the right. Angie Speaks disowning the left. Almost as if humanity forgot that the model of the universe contained in language is different for every human. And using a label as a definition for personality opens a whole Pandora's box when someone with that label defines it differently. Ooh. So if you think I'm not an anarchist because I think prisons are an adequate pipeline to the open air permanent prison that Britain will become in 2025, then I think you need to return to your global consensus device because everywhere has that shit. Everywhere has prisons. Even the most hippy-dippy of communes has a timeout corner or an exile process. 
There's just nowhere to exile people anymore. Humanity has achieved global reach. Anywhere to exile has people, and we just so happen to live at a time where they exiled themselves. So I think, you know, if Britain is exiling themselves, um, I'm going to submit this to my local committee to be brought to the next council for consensus that Britain is the humane way to deal with the unwanted and unloved. And it makes my blood boil that we still have so many so-called anarchists who think that they need to dismantle some ordained Tower of Babel that has taken root. These maps were forged with blood, and if you don't have the pints to spill, then stay out of the fucking way. We came up from the muck, and we did it by putting chicken shits like you in their place, away from us. You got chased away before, you'll get chased away again. You want us to play nice? This is nice. Get the fuck over there, or shut the fuck up. Anything else really isn't fair to me, because you're wasting my time. I know a girl whose aunt murdered her own child with a shovel, in America, and she just got out of prison after 14 years. She could have been free in Britain the whole time. Is what we have now fair to anyone? My friend doesn't want her aunt out of prison. You know, I had a roommate who talked a big game about a website that would allow everyone to collectively make decisions. I said either it's voluntary and not everyone will participate, or it's mandatory and how will you enforce that without violence? No answer. No satisfying answer, just a whole lot of- I don't think you're listening to me, man. So I listen to your seriously wrongs and I read your kapakins, but what makes Marx any better than me? Just another asshole sitting behind a word process. What good is Mark Fisher or David Graeber in a grave? We have their video, sure, but you still have Whittle Spooky and Dallas Clock Tower, but I'm only secretly one of those. So what kind of free-thinking individual are you? Are you the kind that falls for traps and funnels your audience to the other side of the cultural squabble with more comforting graphics and stupider language? Or do you get smarter and expect more from your audience, regardless of how small it can be? Because the numbers are lying to you. I got the same number from four years of rage baiting as I did from what is essentially $40. They can be bought. And so can you, apparently. And they don't even have to pay you. You do labor for your enemies and pat yourself on the back. Congratulations, anyone who made a video about PragerU. You're a fucking idiot. You were outsmarted. Don't let it happen again. And if you can't handle that, consider a different career path. The whole fucking time, people were putting out videos saying, don't feed the trolls, they want you to debate them. Dumbasses. Free Abby, Brittany, Candace and Cardi, Demi, Emma, Free to Callo, Free Groupies for Ailey Williams, no relation, Free IUDs for everyone, Free Joan Somi, Kira Knightley, Lacey Mosley, Melania, Nina, Oprah, Poppy, Queen Latifah, Rachel, Sarah, Tracy, Uma Thurman, she's probably rolling in her grave or punching it. Hanson and Hanson for President 2024.